Those six players are pretty evenly matched, I feel. So start of the second term, first semi-final this afternoon, East Geelong and Thompson, Oakley and Ferguson. They go up, Oakley gets it down past Gardner, but he's back on it pretty quick, turns around the other way. Gets past Ferguson, gets past a couple, goes right foot kick long towards half forward. Nick Maharis kept his eye on it, took the mark. Great mark. Steiny, you can't play on from a mark, son, I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> we'll have to come back to Nick Maharis at half forward. Kept his eye on the ball and took the mark. Now we give it to Josh Coley who peeled off and has taken the mark, plays on, 30 metres out, kicks the goal. Oh, too easy. So too easy. Josh Coley has started the second term. In fine fettle, his first, the fifth for Thompson. They go to 5 5 35. They lead East Geelong 2 2 14. Raiders bingo. Second quarter scoreboard. We've been playing 45 seconds. Interesting part of that, Laurie. Coley started on the wing, prepared to run to the drop of the footy, run further when uh, Maharas had taken the footy and still received the hand pass and kicked the goal. So prepared to run and got well, the result. Well, that's right, Eric. You've got to run into the spots where the footy might likely to come, and uh, that's exactly where he finished up. He got the ball, was able to run on and kick an easy goal. It looked far too easy, didn't it? It did. It did, certainly. Well, after a minute, the ball back in the middle. With the umpire, again, uh, Dean Oakley and uh, Ferguson. Oakley up high, missed the ball on that occasion. O'Connor didn't, however. He comes through, handball to Gardner, handball further out. O'Connor following up, picks it up, handball back to Dean Oakley, who's uh, supported him well. Crashes a tackle, handball out wide. Good work to uh, Randall, who kicks the ball. Well, not such a good kick. And, uh, in fact, Luke McLean is it starting on a half-back flank. And uh, looks as if he might be on Troy Maharis. And that's a, a fairly negative move, perhaps, as uh, Ferguson has a problem. But uh, no, it, was, uh, it wasn't Luke McLean. It was uh, O'Leary, O'Leary back there. But the ball finally comes to Luke McLean, although O'Connor for Thompson dives on the footy, handballs it out to uh, Thorley. It's uh, pretty rugged out there in the middle at the moment. The ball not going in until Miles picks the ball up. Alludes a couple of tackles, goes back on the left foot and uh, finds a teammate in Williams on centre wing. Chips the ball forward to Senjov, who's uh, created some space for himself. Takes the mark, gets the call from uh, centre half forward, but uh, really it uh, comes to ground. Itabong picks it up, eludes a tackle, runs to 50 and hooks the ball back to the full forward position. And uh, Got to be I was going to say, uh, the umpire took a long time to blow the whistle there. I thought Sean O'Leary had juggled the footy for quite some seconds. And uh, ahead of Andy Aitchison, Sean O'Leary has taken the mark. Aitchison on the mark, 30 yards or 30 metres directly in front. And Sean O'Leary, as he uh, pulls the right sock up, lines up. League's leading goal kicker for the year. Moves in. Not a bad looking kick. The goal umpire doesn't move too far for that one. Sean O'Leary kicks his first. And uh, the answering goal for East Geelong. 3-2-20. They trail Thompson 5 5 35. Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard. Three minutes gone. Yeah, well, it was a bread and butter kick for uh, Sean, wasn't it? And uh, they've got to get more from him now. He's got to have a big day. He's got to have a big day today. Ferguson, did you know? What, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. He soon, I thought tried to tackle shoulder. Tim Gardner in the middle and got slung as he oh, uh, okay. as he so shoulder, tackled perhaps. Tim Gardner. I think so. Yep, yep. So back to the middle. So Breed had about a three minute rest, and he's back. Up against Dean Oakley. Umpire throws the ball in the air. Oakley gets it down towards Highland who runs on it. Gibson comes off the wing. Miles at the back end of the square against Oakley again. Goes towards uh, Armstrong. He gives it away to Tim Gardner. They're running from free. Anderson oh. goes out. Pushed by Steenhouse. Umpire said yes. Gee, I'll tell you what, that'll test the hammer out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got the ball at 50 on the boundary line. Right half forward flank. Yes. Yes, that left leg is uh, a little tender after that one. So Peter Anderson hasn't kicked a goal yet. Two behinds in the first term. We'll line up for goal from 50. He just sets it up uh, Ooh, for the boundary like line. Have a look at him. He's over and he's bent over there now. That's not a good sign at all. And it's out of bounds right forward pocket. And it'll be <laughs> the call from the back of the box. He's gone. Murray gives it away towards Stenhouse, who goes long towards the lead of Intervong, who comes out at pace. Riley against him. Tried to tap it on in the end towards uh, O'Leary. Now he has to go back and get it himself. Does so. Gets around. Goes on the right boot. Chips it towards centre wing and Breed. The big man tries to tap it on as well. Coming through the middle. Oh, was that a free kick? Yes, it was. Advantage paid to Thompson. O'Connor will rebound. Go towards a Coley. But he stands and waits. And McLean doesn't. Needs some support. Got some miles. Handball to McLean. Sets him up. Loses the football. Rowan runs the other way. Now he goes and chips the ball. It's good to Troy Maharis. Takes it on the bootstraps. Takes the mark. 
He chips over the top towards Tim Gardner, who stands there. Gets absolutely collected by Steenhouse. The umpire says the mark was there. Well, Anderson certainly couldn't lead, and I'd suggest he's coming off the ground. He's definitely well, not Well, right. he should come off the ground, uh, Eric, because uh, he's going to be no use to Thompson whatsoever. Well, the point was there that uh, Troy Maharis had the ball 70 metres out, nobody between him and the goal square, and uh, Anderson couldn't lead to him. Well, he's not even worrying about coming. Is he coming off through the interchange? No, I don't think he's coming back. He needn't bother. <laughs> so Tim Gardner has got the ball 30 metres out, slight angle. Chance to put the sixth on the board for Thompson. He comes in, and I think he's missed it to the far side. He leaned back on it. And he's kicked one behind. So they go to 5 6 36. Thompson, East Geelong 3 2 20. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, six minutes played. Stenhouse with uh, no opponent there. Well, he wasn't allowed to kick in because the uh, goal umpire. Uh, I wonder about that rule. All the. Would it was going to happen, the goal umpire was one step away from putting the flag in the post. And uh, Stenhouse not allowed to kick the ball in. And of course, uh, at the moment, Thompson only got 17 players. The chip in again comes to Gunn, and they've got uh, a player spare down there at the moment, East Geelong. But uh, Justin, Justin has just replaced uh, Anderson as Gunn. Well, a terrible kick from him. It's intercepted by uh, O'Connor, handball to Gardner. He's taken a long time. Put down after he kicked the footy, umpire saw it, but oh, a magnificent Boy. mark up forward. And that looks a bit like uh, Jason Stein in the forward pocket. One grab, very strong mark, and an opportunity to, uh, to score for the Thompson side. He's deep in the pocket, decides to chip it uh, inboard. Umpire said, no, you can't do that, I haven't called time off. So uh, Jason Stein almost be uh, enforced to have a shot at goal. I don't think he wants to. <laughs> so Stein... The man on the mark is only uh, 20 metres from goal. Just have a kick, son. It might even go through. Well, there's uh, every chance. Well, he's run round there, puts the ball on the boot, gone right across the face of goal. Mark not taken and off hands. It is over the boundary line. So uh, probably it could have made a bit better of that, but it's out of bounds. It's 15 metres on the outer side from the behind post now for Thompson. Kicking in the second quarter to the northern end. Seven minutes gone. Justin, Justin goes straight to... Uh, on the ball, Stein goes to ground, no free kick, handball comes out to uh, McLean of East Geelong on the left foot, kicks long towards centre wing, into Vong, weight of numbers surely against him out there as uh, Riley picks it up, handball, well pretty ordinary, not under a lot of pressure but uh, didn't hit his mark which was uh, Johnny Mitchell and it is over the boundary line between wing and half forward flank, out of side for Thompson as I said kicking to this northern end, Oakley and Breed preparing to uh, contest the ruck again from the throw-in. Oakley gets the front brood, gets the tap clear, however, only as far as the boundary, and uh, just as the ball is uh, picked up there, it is over the boundary line. So at eight minutes into the second quarter, Thompson 5-6, lead East Geelong 3-2. I watched Anderson walk around the boundary line. I don't think he's done his hamstring. I think he's done his quad, which has probably made up for the fact that he possibly hasn't got a hammy. Boundary throw-in, Miles wrapped up in the tackle. The umpire will come in. And ball it up once again on centre wing. That sometimes happen, yeah. happens, doesn't it, when you overcompensate? You protect one part <laughs> and another part goes. Yeah. yeah, it's sad though. I mean, you, you know, you, he's tried very hard to get into the finals. Come here today, probably a little bit underdone, and it showed up. You know, it's uh, it's not good. Oakley got it away, and in the end, Intervong chopped it off. He's over the top of it. They pay holding yeah. the ball. The umpire Thompson had him over the top. They've been that today. They yeah. paid it the other day. Riley has got the kick. On centre wing out of side for Thompson. He goes towards the lead of Troy Maharis. He's going to sit up though and Steenhouse is going to take the mark for East Geelong to relieve the pressure for the Eagles. He hasn't got a lot to kick to at the moment. Buckingham gives him a lead. Breed does now as well and Duncan Miles. He goes long towards centre wing to Dan O'Connor. Hill from behind. Good defensive play in the end. Through the middle Highland. Breaks a couple of tackles. Then with the right foot drills it and it's okay. Finds Randall on the overlap at half forward. Now he goes with the right foot towards centre half forward. Nick Maharis puts oh. a hand up. Great roving by O'Coley. Off the side of the pack. Needs some support now. Loses it in the tackle. Through the middle. Gardner breaks a couple. Handball to JJ in the middle. On the ground. Goes towards Highland. He picks it up again. Good tackling by East Geelong. They hold it up at half forward. Boy, there's a few, few around the ball. It's almost as if uh, East have flooded back, Laurie, and the Thompson uh, defenders have gone with him. So... Yeah. 
It's a bit of a flood, I can, I mean, you can surely say that, Eric. A ball up. 45 metres out from the Thompson goal. Justin stands there, off the pack. Maharis handball towards O'Connor, back to Maharis. Running across half forward, left foot kicks OK. A Coley oh. called out by Armstrong, who will shoot for goal from 50 out directly in front. Fair chance he might have trouble the distance here. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Maybe not. Sabali Armstrong. He's going to get serious about it. Kick five last week for Thompson against Bell Post Hill. And one of them in the last quarter was about from here. It was. <laughs> Directly in front. He comes in now. Chance for Thompson sixth. Looks pretty good off the boot. Has it got the distance? Yes, it has. And it is his first. And the sixth for Thompson. They go to six, 6.42. And they lead East Geelong 3-2-20. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 11 minutes played. Laurie, it's one thing to have the ability to kick at 55 metres, but the other to have the accuracy. And uh, he controls his kicks very, very well, Savali Armstrong. And he's a very dangerous player, Eric, uh, because he can do it from outside there. And, uh, you know, it, so you've got to pick him up. You know, nor normally that's where you want to leave him and fill the gap. But you can't do that because if you do that, he's going to grab it and kick a goal on you. And, uh, you know, so that makes him very dangerous. Back in the middle, it's Breed and Oakley. Breed on this occasion gets a tap down. Buckingham, he's tackled with the footy. Gets a handball clear. Comes, uh, well, it's contested in the middle. Now it stacks on the mill. Players, uh, well, I'm sure they'll try to push it out. Umpires whistle the play and uh, we'll put it in the air. So we'll have a secondary ball up in the centre with uh, now a number of players able to come into the square. Ball goes up, Breed in good position, gets a nice tap clear for uh, East Geelong into Vong. Well, he just got the fit of the fumbles, picked up there by Miles. He uh, eludes a tackle, had a long time to get rid of it, but does. But the handball comes to Roberts of Thompson. He tips the ball to the lead of half forward and it's uh, Sabali Armstrong again. All players go down except... Uh, Who's that? Stenhouse. Stenhouse, a uh, long way from goal. He picks it up, drives it to half forward. Williams doesn't attack the footy. That's all he does. And uh, now they have some words together as the ball has gone over the boundary line. Half forward flank for East Geelong, kicking to the southern end in the second quarter. 12 minutes old as the uh, boundary umpire put the ball back into play. Timmy Gardner does the ruck work, gets a tap down. Dean Oakley does the roving, but uh, can't get the ball clear. Finally, a handball comes out to Christian Highland. Another handball to Thorley on the overlap. Good work, Thompson. Kick the ball long. It's two on one out oh. there. Nick Maharis, he crashes the pack. Justin Justin does the roving. Picks it up, drives it to uh, full forward. In front, Troy Maharis gets the ball to his foot. Almost tripped uh, his, uh, his teammate in Zabali Armstrong up. Murray picks it up under pressure. Gets a handball back to Fitzgerald. He's, Ooh, uh, he's well, in big trouble. They're in real trouble out there, Thompson, as... Uh, well, I don't know how much opportunity the East Geelong player had to get rid of it. Nick Mahara has got the uh, the free kick. Sees a Coley at centre-half forward on his own. And uh, despite all the uh, gesticulations of the East Geelong defenders, the mark will certainly stand. There was nothing wrong with that. And uh, from directly in front, 30 metres out, Joshua Coley lines up for the chance to kick his second for the quarter. And I'll tell you what, the goal umpire has hardly moved. Coley's done just that. It is his second. And it is the seventh for the Thompson side. 7 6 48. They lead East Geelong 3 2 20. Raiders Bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 13 and a half minutes gone. Well, now you've got to be in the right spot to kick the goals, but it's, it's the ease that they're getting there. You know, the, the, the uh, East Geelong players not being accountable for their players running into the forward line. They've got to improve that area, otherwise, they're going to get uh, a bit of a break on them here. So back to the middle. North Geelong, uh, East Geelong. Changing things here with uh, O'Leary up towards the 50 metre line and everybody else up at the square as the umpire throws the ball up. Oakley gets it down. McLean's there. Tries to break free. Got the handball out. Miles runs backwards. Still at the defensive end of the centre square. Goes wide. The lead on from Intervon goes in that direction now. Doesn't sit for him though. Sits for Riley. Rides the bump then drops the footy. Should be holding the ball and is. Intervong plays on quickly. Goes with the right foot. Long lead O'Leary at 50. Takes the mark. In, hands in front of the face. And has taken it at 50. Now he uh, goes towards Breed on a lead. Coming out Thorley did pretty well. Now hands off by Dieselak. Got one high but uh, umpire says play on. O'Connor will sweep across and get it wide towards Randall. Up against Gibson. Pushing the back said the umpire. And Randall will take the free kick at half-back, out of side. Needs to uh, play on quickly. 
Poor kick in the end over the back arm. Strong Fitzgerald worked his way to the front and kept it in. Now goes towards Williams. Has to pick it up on the half volley. Does so. Handball out ball was pretty good. Followed up was uh, Fitzgerald. Goes towards Intervong who takes the mark and plays on. 35 metres in closing. Needs to be a good kick, isn't And it's through 4-1 behind to East Geelong. So they go to 3-3-21. Three, three, they trail Thompson 7-6-48. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. 15 minutes played. Well, I'd have the runner out to uh, Christian Thorley just to give him a pat on the back because I thought that little one percenter in there made that uh, ball uh, push to the ground where they were able to get a clearance and get it back out of the forward zone. Great stuff. So Rowan now of Thompson to kick in. Decides to uh, go long. It's uh, land outside 50. Aitchison the target. Can't take the mark. Comes to ground. Good tap along by Thorley wants to go Highland. Can't keep his feet. Gets a handball to Dean Oakley. Now he's got uh, Peacock wide. Long handball. He just chips it over the top. They've created the loose man, Thompson, because a curl, a Cole is taking the mark. Has a bounce. Takes the man on. She's out far. Runs further. Kicks the ball to uh, the head of the goal square. Oh, good. Queuing up for it. There's, There's three there. Timmy Gardner heard Troy Maharis uh, calling from behind. Troy Maharis took the easiest of chest marks. Timmy Gardner could have taken the overhead mark comfortably. But uh, goodness gracious, where was the East Geelong defence on that occasion? Because it uh, came down very rapidly for Thompson and Troy Maharis now. 45 out, directly in front. The opportunity to uh, kick for goal. Moves in on the left foot. Not a bad looking kick off the boot. In fact, it's right through the middle for goal number four. And uh, he is creating some headaches for the East Geelong defence. Four goals to Maharis, eight for Thompson. 8 6 54. Lead East Geelong 3 3 21. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard 16 and a half minutes gone. Well, there's quite a gap starting to open up here now, Eric, and uh, there's definitely uh, a, a pattern in their play, the Thompson side, that they're trying to work it around the flanks and then get into that uh, area just where uh, uh, Troy kicked that goal from there, a similar position that uh, Sabali Armstrong kicked it. So uh, uh, East Geelong got, got to try and get in there and uh, stop that. Daisy's off. Back to the middle. O'Connor now from the contest. Oh, ridden to the ground. Umpire says held to him. And the funny part of it, the other umpire's <laughs> paying that holding the ball. <laughs> so, uh, ball up. Still in the middle of the ground. Breed over the back. Oakley gets it down. Running through the middle. Highland towards half forward. McLeod pushed under it by Tim Gardner having a rest at half forward. Oh, he was going to handball it and his teammate fell over. Nick Maharis, but he gets up now. Goes on the left and tries to chip it towards Justin. Justin, can he keep it in? Yes, he can. He can, well, handball it back in board. A number of Thompson players there. Is that a push in the back? Play on the court in the 10 metre square. And the umpire says held in. And it will be a ball up. Gee, jump on the bloke's back. I didn't <laughs> think you were allowed to do that. To answer your question, Jason, it was in the back, but it was in the goal <laughs> square as well, so they're very reluctant to want to give you an easy free kick there. So a ball up. Only about eight metres out from the Thompson goal. Justin, Justin runs at it. Comes off hands. In the square oh, somewhere. Troy, Troy was Maharis. that Troy Maharis? Troy Maharis. Right Has foot. kicked the goal. Goal number five for Troy Maharis. And they're on fire, Thompson. They got a 9 6 60. They lead East Geelong 3 3 21. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. 18 minutes played. And uh, JJ perhaps spreading a few there around <laughs> in the square there. And uh, no, that was a brilliant goal. Just the right foot. Got a, got the ball from hand to foot very, very quickly and just threaded it through. As I see uh, Andrew Hill been uh, escorted to the back half for East Geelong. So they've got some concerns down there. Oh, they East. certainly have, Eric. Uh, you know, uh, Dave sitting on the bench there. He'll have to start plucking some uh, moves out now to try and uh, move this around a bit. Because so the, uh, some bad signs right here now. Well, actually, Andrew Hill's now in the middle. So the ball in the air. Oakley and Breed. Breed gets a tap down. Shark by O'Connor. Coming through Luke McLean. Trying to lift his side. Gets the ball clear. Oh, Christian Hyland yeah. hit pretty high, I thought. And uh, umpire agreed. And, uh, he's certainly telling his opponent all about it, but the advantage paid to Thompson. And uh, what's happening? No, it wasn't. wonder why. Yep. However, be that as it may, well, in fact, the free kick's gone back to Brad Roberts. <laughs> That's the reason why. So, uh, O'Connor, oh, oh, terrible shocking. handball from O'Connor behind the running player, Riley, picked up by Intervong, goes forward. On the turnover now, it is uh, Sean O'Leary, 75 metres from goal on half forward flank, has taken the mark, kicks the centre half forward, but he's picked out Christian Sawley absolutely perfectly. And uh, Hill is going off crooked. Sawley, well, he chips it over looking for Christian Highland, has found him, he's got uh, Mitchell, he's got uh, Urkali, goodness gracious, 
name any one of the Thompson players. They've made that position. Ercoli can't take the mark. Gardner picks up the crumb. Handball to uh, Mitchell, who's running. He sees the lead coming from uh, Troy Maharis. Oh. And, uh, well, still ahead of uh, Nathan Murray has taken the comfortable mark outside 50. But uh, Murray has a real problem, particularly because the ball lorry is coming in so well to Troy Maharis. Well, not only that, he, I don't think he's up to the uh, up to the job on uh, Troy uh, Eric. To be quite frankly with you, I think it's about time they made a position move there. Well, he's kicked five. Hammy got a kick. He's kicked five, and he's now got the ball. He'd be kicking from uh, about the 50 metre arc. Can kick the footy, not beyond the chance here, and uh, moves in on the left foot. I tell you what, he's kicked it pretty well, but it's just oh, oh it came back late and hit the left-hand post. Nathan Murray, I could see the big sigh of relief. <laughs> so five-one to uh, Troy Maharis and nine-seven sixty-one Thompson. They lead East Geelong three-three twenty-one. Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard. Twenty-one minutes gone. So Stenhouse from fullback for the Eagles. We'll do the kicking in. Breed gives him a lead to the outer side. He likes to go short, though, to Cocking on the ground. He takes the mark. He can chip it to Buckingham. Does so now at half back. He takes the grab. He's got Barnett in the middle by himself. He goes in that direction, but Thorley had picked it out perfectly. He's going to be in front now. Does pretty well. Needs some support. Oh, Christian. Thorley, if you don't mind, and drills the ball to JJ on the chest at half forward. Great play, Christian Thorley. Justin Justin goes long, going back. Stenhouse. Santa Coley against him. He and the umpire paid it very late, but paid the free kick to Josh Coley. He just got tugged straight to the ground. Uh, Stenhouse in the marking contest just grabbed him high and down he went. Well, I'll tell you what, if JJ was uh, thinking, he could have ran in because they yeah. all left him on the mark they and did. Uh, he, he, he could have ran another 30 metres. He, he probably would have had to to get the distance. <laughs> Josh Coley's like Barry O'Toole. You know straight away if he's kicked the goal. He comes in. He knows. <laughs> he's kicked it. <laughs> His third. And the 10th for Thompson. And they go to 10-7-67. They lead East Geelong 3-3-21. Three, three, Raiders bingo. Second quarter scoreboard. 22 minutes played. Well, Laurie uh, Coley has certainly been the key inclusion into this side. He was a player that has been uh, very good as a blood rule. I see the umpire signalling down there. I'm not quite sure. Is it... Uh, Troy Maharis, Troy maybe. Maharis. He wouldn't want to be off for too long for the Thompson side, you wouldn't think. But uh, certainly uh, saw the blood rule signal as uh, Chris Baxter comes onto the ground. Goodness gracious, they put the ball in the air. Back in the middle, and it is in the air now. Ball spills free to Riley, who breaks free. Confidence flowing for uh, Thompson. He goes along to brother Nick, who's going to get in on the act and takes a great mark. Standing up, plays on, 30 metres out, draws the, ball, draws the player, He's closes kicking. in and kicks the goal. Nick Mahara's second goal. Brother Troy's off. He kicks his second, 11 goals. Now, Thompson, they go 11 7 73. They let East Geelong 3 3 21. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. 23 minutes played. But the blood draw replacement was 75 80 metres from his position. Ball shouldn't have been put in the air, but Thompson took advantage anyway. They won short, <laughs> but it didn't matter. So, uh, really, the last seven or eight minutes, Laurie has just been absolutely uh, devastating well, well, for East Geelong. They're, they're, they're playing a good brand of footy, too, at the moment, Eric. They're, they're footy smart. I mean, how was that for Nick? He, uh, hit, as soon as he hit the ground, he was a running, and uh, he only had to straighten up and kick accurately, which he did. So, in the middle again, Hill gets a tap down. Oh, Breed tackled high. No free kicks at the umpire. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Highland. Breaks clear, handball over the top, missed his mark, but uh, Riley's got plenty of time to come back. Highland comes back and puts a, a shepherd in to allow his teammate pass. Coley almost takes another grab on half forward. He's creating oh! a nice little hand pass flick to <laughs> Randall going past. Problematical whether it was fair, but it was on the blind side of the umpire. And uh, unfortunately, Randall under pressure has put it out of bounds on the full. So... Uh, <laughs> the Washington Bullets, watch out. I was going to say, that was great skill. I'll give it a skill. So, <laughs> skill O'Leary factor. on half back, kicks the ball long towards centre wing. Big pack of players there. Oakley from the back can't take the mark. Landed pretty hard on his backside. The ball in dispute there. Pulled back in under himself by the player. I reckon, oh, I thought the umpire was going to ping the East Geelong player there. But uh, last man up, in fact, was uh, Randall of Thompson. So, maybe it was he. On the other side of the ground there, they pull the ball back in. However, ball in the air. Oakley over the top of Breed once again. Unfortunately, to the advantage of uh, East Geelong. And Fitzgerald ran slap bang into a tackle, into Vong. He tries to get clear, handball to Breed. His kick is smothered off the boot. Comes forward, 
Good work, Randall. Ran hard at the footy. Send job is in there for Roost. And finally, oh, player came out of the, uh, the pack with the footy. Oh, her colleague. That time it was a throw and the ump, he got it. Just a netball. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh, uh, it was a, a rugby. Bas a basketball uh, flick. Two hands. And the ensuing free kick to uh, East Geelong. The lead at centre-half forward. Hill, ahead of Peacock, takes the mark. One of the rare times East Geelong have been into the forward oh, half. Oh. Kicks into the man on the mark. Highland, watch the all, footy. Eric. And uh, handball to Peacock. A little chip pass to Randall on centre wing. And uh, Christian Highland doing very, very well this second quarter. A lot going unnoticed. The lead is that uh, in the centre. Uh, Coley again comes in, takes the mark behind Senjob. Handball quickly to O'Connor, and away go Thompson. High kick, one against three. Nick Maharis, ball comes. John Mitchell, read it well, front of the pack. Handball to Rowan. Rowan now off a step four, a Thompson to full forward. Oh, Timmy Gardner just edged his opponent under the footy. Showed it, runs around, handball long. He's created the loose man. Stein on his own in the goal square, just strolls in. Kick the drop kick, goal! <laughs> Jason Stein for uh, Thompson. <laughs> well, I've seen his father kicking when I played. But that's the 12th for Thompson. 12 7 79. East Geelong 3 3 21. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. 26 minutes gone. Well, oh, that, that's a height of cheek, isn't it? <laughs> that's arrogance. Uh, look, I, I, I just a bit, uh, cut over there before, Eric. Uh, Look, that was a good build-up for East Long, and what do they do? Go and kick in the man the mark. I mean, uh, that says it all, does it? Uh, there's not much running for them today, and uh, Jason called there before. Their enthusiasm and confidence is, is all of a sudden grown. They're all running forward of the footy, and uh, when you've got a side doing that, you're going to be hard to peg them back. But the guy who put the smother on the, on the kick in the mat, Christian Highland, watched the footy. That's yep. all it was. Back in the middle, Oakley down towards O'Connor. Ripped off the ball by Inthavong. They throw it out in the end. East Geelong try to get towards Breed. The big man trying pretty hard in the middle. Kicks it to uh, up in the air to nobody in particular. Now it falls towards Stein who taps it away. Back towards uh, Dieselak. Now Bailey goes wide looking for McLean who's having a rest at half forward. He'll be against Roberts. Tries to pick it up Roberts. He's got Peacock in support. Two against one. McLean's fought pretty hard. Buckingham comes over in support. And the umpire, boundary umpire will throw it in. At half forward for East Geelong. So it'll be Andrew Hill up against Dean Oakley. Bantry throw in short. Interbong's there. Punched away to the wards the side. Bailey. Bucking him in there also. Little toe poke. Mitchell runs back with a fly to the footy. Now guns in there as well. Bailey on hands and knees. Fighting hard for it. The umpire will come in. And ball it up still at half forward. So East Geelong into attack. Breed, Oakley from behind, goes up, pushing the back, said the umpire over the shoulder. Breed will take it. Right in front of our commentary box. Goes to the right foot, drills it towards O'Leary, who goes up. Oh, Aitchison double fister from behind at the front. Now Aitchison again, clearing kick, just tumbling towards half back. Wants the boundary line, foot race, Riley gets across there. Miles making up some ground also on Gibson, but. He has found the boundary line and will have a throw in. Out of side, half forward flank. They're just playing disciplined footy, Thompson Laurie, aren't they? All over the ground. Oh, well, <coughs> and as I said, Eric, they've got their confidence up too and they're prepared to run. You can see them run forward of the footy a little bit and set themselves up in a position to receive it. And uh, you can only do that when you get a bit of a margin uh, like they've got here at the moment. So, uh, Ball spilt free towards Breed. And the ball held to him on the point of the centre square at half forward. The Eagles into attack just as Dan O'Connor was about to run away, but the umpire will bring it back and ball it up. But saying all that, Eric, sometimes you can get overconfident too and get caught out. So you've still got to be accountable. So ball up now. Breed stands there again. Oakley comes from behind, gets it down into Vong, fighting hard for it, bucking him over the top as well. Jumps over a couple, <laughs> gets the handball backwards. Off a step, Miles goes towards half forward. Peacock puts the arms up and takes the mark for Thompson. Just inside defensive 50, got Stein wide, he goes in that direction. And should be able to take the mark, under pressure should get a free kick. And Dars Gunn coming back with a flight of the ball. And Jason Stein will give it away by hand to Armstrong at the point of the centre square at half back. Now drills it towards Nick Maharis. O'Leary works to the front, Nick Maharis against him. Now can give it away by hand to Gardner who runs at half forward, gets a good shepherd, takes one bounce, goes towards 40, up towards Troy Maharis, off hands, Murray at the back, McLeod there as well under pressure, good tackle, Troy Maharis, ball spilt free. Now Murray leads in the race for the ball. He and Highland will see it over for a throw in the right forward pocket. 
Well, Nathan Murray did do a good job just then uh, to try and uh, push that ball away because it looked like it was going to drop straight into Troy's uh, lap again. And uh, So we'll give you some credit there. Bad news for uh, Geelong supporters at the moment. West Coast 104 lead the Kangaroos 91 at three-quarter time at Marnica. We'll keep you updated with that. O'Connor from the boundary contest can handball it towards Armstrong. Cocking, though, read it uh, OK. Got a hand to it. Now back towards Armstrong. O'Leary in there also. O'Connor running back with it. Riley next to him. Slips the handball out. Miles for East Geelong at half back. Gives it away to Hill. Runs through the centre. Goes long. Kick towards O'Leary. He'll be up against a couple. He pushes Aitchison into it. Does pretty well. McLean got three against him. Aitchison has dragged it in and did very nicely in the end. Thank you very much to disguise oh, the fact. He did quite well. Very well, in fact. <laughs> and it will be a ball up at centre half forward for East Geelong. 30 minutes gone in the uh, second quarter. In fact, the siren has sounded for half time here at St Albans in the first semi final. And at half time, the score reads Thompson 12 7 79, leading East Geelong 3 3 21. Thompson kicked eight goals, two in the second quarter, and East Geelong managed one goal, one. The goal kickers for the Tigers, five to Troy Maharis, three to Joshua Coley, two to Nick Maharis, and singles to Sabali Armstrong and Jason Stein. Well, for East Geelong, their goal kickers Duncan Miles, Kiao Interbong and Sean O'Leary. A big lead to Thompson at halftime in the first semi-final. 58 points. 12-7-79. They lead East Geelong 3-3-21. Take a break.